In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element here in FePO4, that's iron 3 phosphate. So to do that, we need to know that this is a neutral compound. There's no plus or minus charge up here. And if we have a neutral compound, the oxidation numbers, those add up to zero for each of the elements. That's really useful. So the next thing to know is that we have iron, which can have variable oxidation states. And then we have this PO4, which is a phosphate. So when we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers for the ion add up to its charge. So we need to know the charge on the phosphate ion. Now you could have memorized that that's three minus, or you can look it up if you're allowed to do that on a table. So let's look it up here though. So I'm looking for PO4 and PO4 here, the phosphate ion, that's the three minus. So three minus for this whole PO4 ion here. So since the oxidation numbers add up to the numbers on the charge, we can say that this whole thing here, this whole phosphate, that's going to be a minus three. That's its oxidation number. And therefore, for them, all the charges to add up to zero, this has to be plus three. So those are the oxidation numbers. The oxidation number on iron is iron plus three. So let's get rid of this. Now that we know the iron is plus three, let's get rid of this here. And then look at the individual elements here in PO4, the phosphate ion. We know that oxygen, that's minus two. So we can put a minus two up here. Phosphorus, you won't find on our list. We're gonna call that X. So we have one iron multiplied by the plus three, plus the phosphorus, we don't know, plus four oxygen atoms multiplied by this minus two. And we said all of this has to add up to zero. Put a zero there. Now we just do the math. One times three, so three plus X minus eight equals zero. If we get X by itself, X is gonna equal five. It's gonna equal positive five. So the oxidation number on the phosphorus here, that'll be plus five. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element in FePO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.